What up YouTube, it's Michael here from uh, Allotment Adventures. Today, we're not really gonna be out the allotment much. Um, I've recently found out about a local composting site to where I live. Um, it's in Thornbury. Uh, well, it's not far from where the allotment is and everything. So we're gonna take a drive over there today. We're gonna have a look um, and see how much it is to get compost and wood chippings, hopefully. So I'll take you guys along for the ride. Also, when I pop to the allotment quickly to grab bags, if I am going to the allotment to grab bags, I've got something to show you that I picked up yesterday. If not, I'll show you by the end of the video. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. Okay, so I've just been to the composting site. It's only a small site. I didn't really want to record a video there because I didn't know if the people would actually like it because most of it is run by volunteers. But it's a nice little site. Um, it was actually set up 20 years ago by Thornbury Council to combat climate change. They do compost at £2 a bag and wood chip at £2 a bag. I got three bags of wood chip for £6. Um, if you go there when the volunteers are there, they will supply you with bags. Um, if not, you're supposed to take your own bags Unfortunately, I didn't have the time to get to the allotment to get the bags and get here because it closes about three o'clock, I believe. Um, and I wanted to go try and get some done. So I'm going to take you to the back of the car and I'll show you what the wood chip looks like. It's not wood chip as in landscaping wood chip you would use for like decorative paths. Um, it's more of like a mulch wood chip, but I'm going to use it for paths for now anyway because it's a lot cheaper than buying that. I bought three bags for £6 here when it's usually about £10 for one bag of landscape bark. So I'll take you to the back of the car and I will quickly just show you in the boot. Okay, so we're at the boot now. Um, this is what it looks like. It's more of um, sort of a mulch than landscape bark. I got three big bags of it. Um, the shovel I had to use to get it in. But £6, I can't really complain for this. So I'm going to run this up the allotment now and I'm going to tip it out and show you what it looked like as paths and then we'll go from there okay guys so uh we're actually still in the car i haven't got back to the allotment yet um on the way back dawn pointed out this place on the right hand side that we're doing milk we went in and we've got this it looks a bit off but this is actually salted caramel milkshake um it's 50p in the honesty box for the the syrup and then it was one pound ten a liter i believe for the milk um, it's fresh milk from the farm. It's in a machine that pumps it out into the thing. So this, I put a pound in for each instead of 50p. So these were two pound, what's wrong with it now? Two pound 10 for uh, a litre of milkshake. I've gone for salted caramel. Um, Dawn has gone for strawberry. It's bright red. Um, at the end of this video, when I get back to the, uh, back home with Dawn, we'll uh, we'll taste test these and we'll see what they're like and we'll show you. Um, and we'll give you the address and everything. Um, it's Old Green Farm, just outside Formbury. It's amazing. So we'll get up to the allotment, we'll get that done, and then we'll get back. See you guys in a sec. Okay, guys, so I'm finally up the allotment now. Um, it's a lot darker than I would like it to be. The only light I've got is sort of a street lamp. So I'm going to try and show you guys the stuff while I'm up here. So basically, I've got three bags of it just in here. Um, I take it out. So it's it's a lot more um, sort of like mulch wood chip than um, I'd like it to be. I'd like it to be landscape wood chip really for my path, but this will do. This is fantastic. It's so much cheaper than me buying it from B&Q. Um, for me to buy a bag of landscape bark from B&Q is like 10 pound. And that did that little bit outside the greenhouse just behind me. I won't be able to show you because it's too dark, but this, this will be fantastic. I'm not going to spread it today uh, as it's too dark now and I can't really show you, but I am up here all day Friday. So fingers crossed I can show you guys Friday. I've got a lot planned for Friday. Hopefully get some more beds built, paths, fill the greenhouse a bit with manure and other bits and pieces or build my soak away. I haven't decided fully yet, but this is fantastic. Two pound a bag. It is going to be fantastic for the allotment. It's just down the road. It's such a cool thing to do. Um, it's been there for about 20 years from what I've heard. Uh, to combat the climate change and stuff like that and this time of year especially like if you take your christmas tree down there you can pay a pound or whatever i think it is in the honesty box because they they only go off contributions and then that gets turned into the wood chip so that turns into what's in them bags there so it's, it's fantastic in that sense so i did want to show you guys something else it's a bit dark i don't know if i'll be able to show you but yesterday uh, if i nail down uh, can't really see it here um it's trees, fruit trees. Um, I got some fruit trees. I'm not going to be able to go into it fully with you now because it's too dark. But Friday, I will make sure I mention it. Probably one of the first things I do, I'll mention that. And then I'm going to leave it there. So I'm going to head back to the, the property now with Dawn 
and what I'll show you them um, milkshakes that we got earlier, give you a little bit of a take test and I think that'll be it for today. So I'll see you guys back there. Okay guys, so we're back home now. Um, we've got the two bottles. As you can see, guys, like I said, it's like a luminous pink um, or red. Uh, and then I've got my sort of caramel that looks like an off sort of milk, to be honest. But we're going to give these a try. Dawn's going to try hers in a, in a uh, cup. I'm actually going to try my straight out of the thing. These are actually from, they're called Old Green Farm uh, BS35 Free Tango Delta. Um, it's just down a little lane, basically, outside Thornbury. And it just, it, we went past it the other day and there was loads of cyclists there and we didn't know why they were there. And then Dawn Googled it and it said that they did these milkshakes. So we thought we might as well try it. So it's a litre of milkshake each. So what's yours like? Really strong? No, it's nice. Quite subtle? Yeah. Well, two pumps. Right. It's got a kick to it. Oh, that's no, so nice. Yeah. Well, it's really sweet, the aftertaste as well. Mm. We're probably going to end up drinking a whole litre of that tonight. <laughs> it's like drinking strawberries. Oh, that's good then. Yeah, so I went sort of caramel, Dawn went strawberries. They did every fruit from bubblegum, Oreo, mince pie, birthday cake, Christmas pudding, candy cane, uh, banana, pistachio. chocolate, pistachio. There's loads of different ones. So if you're in Formby or in the Bristol area, it's somewhere to check out. Um, I'll put a link down to their website or any information I can find in the description down below. Same with the Formbury, um, like community compost as well. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video today, guys. If you did, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys again next time.